Everybody, welcome to the Thunder Lightning Podcast. I'm Thunder. I'm Lightning. And I'm Thunder. Um how what's up? Nothing much. <laughs> <coughs> I'm so tired. I'm tired all the time. I was I tired know. yesterday. I'm tired today. And you'll be tired tomorrow. I'll be tired tomorrow for sure. I'll be tired tonight. Um, how was your week? It was pretty good. Um had a lot of fun stuff going on. Um, uh, been going on a lot of adventures and stuff, but keep my personal life off, <coughs> off the air. Okay. Um, what about you? What have you been up to? <laughs> um, well, you had a, do you not want to talk about the new thing that happened to you? The new thing that happened to me. That happened yesterday? Uh, I mean, sure. I, I'm dating somebody now. Yeah. It's exciting. Yeah. She might come on the air. That is exciting. Yeah. Um me, I my week has been okay. Um I had work and I was very uh I was very tired at work and me and my coworker were like laughing and being silly and stuff. Oh, we could um turn the AC back on if you want. I will do that. Tell them uh what you did the day before that at work. I slept. <laughs> did I not? No, you did kind of d- almost didn't show up. I almost didn't show up to work. I don't know what you're referring to. Uh, you were at the library. Oh yeah, that was yesterday. Yeah. Well, I I had I I um I was staying later than normal. Oh. So, okay. but I have to I have to ride get a ride in at a certain time because I do not drive. Um. So I just hung out. At the library, because I work at a school. Uh, so I just hung out at the library um, and played Teppin, because that's all I can do. I'm. It's still really good. I'm not going to talk about it, because I talked about it last time. But I am only I only have five cards, and then I have every single card. Wow. Um, yeah. What did I... I feel like I did something. You were oh, I finished... Oh, what were you going to say? You were at the bank. Uh, sorry, somebody texted me. You were at the bank... Uh, d- we never found out what um, bug that was. Oh, my God, was yeah. Was the bug there again? No, no. No? No, no bug? No. It, 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 from what I can tell, uh, jump scared me and then died, for all I know. Good. I did, I finished uh, Bopper Flop, episode two. Yep. Which is going up in two days. Yeah. Very um, cool. That was fun. I'm not going to. Give away what we talked about, but I like it. It it it's sort of long. It ended up being a half hour long, but I feel like that's not too much longer than it was no. last time. Yeah. Um. We uh we're gonna be filming some exciting uh stuff for the channel tomorrow. Yeah. Well, and uh we're gonna be editing some stuff for the channel today. Yeah. I don't have to be there tomorrow, do I? No. I mean, if you want to be, that'd be cool. We could always use some extra hands, but that's up to you. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, we'll see. I might have a busy day tomorrow. I have to go okay. pick up new glasses and stuff. All right. Um, but that's boring. What uh, have you been playing lately? Um, we <laughs> The last time we recorded one of these was like four days ago, I feel like. Uh, no, nah, it was a whole week ago. Are you sure? Or uh, at least six days. All right. Um, I, I still... I've... Haven't been playing much. Last thing I played was Sneak King. Yeah. And we did a really good job with that. Yeah. We had a lot of fun. Um, Sneak King is bad. I don't like Sneak King. fantastic. It's not fan. I wouldn't call it fantastic, but I'm not going to, like, it's not, it's not a bad game. Like, it's. Number one? No. Stop. <laughs> no. How could I describe what I'm saying? Like, um, it's not. <laughs> It's not bad, okay? But it's also not, like, so bad that it's good. Like, it's just sort of a solid experience. But in terms of, like, would I try to play it all the way through? Or, like, would I play it by myself? I don't think so. It's a it's a 
fun. Like, I would never play that game as much as it wants me to play it. 10 out of 10? You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. Like, like I'll play it for an hour or two just to, like, mess around with it. But, like, I feel like where that game, where its biggest faults are is when you actually try to play it <laughs> for what good. I, what I understand is you're a dweeb and can't understand perfection when you see it. Okay. Um. All right. <laughs> what year did it... I'm going to look up what other games came out the year <laughs> Sneak King came out. Just so I have, like, a conified list of, like, all the games that are better than Sneak King. Because there's got to be, a there's got to be like, a game that you, Chris, love <laughs> that came out the year Sneak King came out. Sneak King came out in 2006. Easily best game of the year. Really? You want to fucking, you want to, you want to fight that? Sure. Video games... Video games, not game. 2006. Let's see. Let's see what the best sellers for 2006 were, was in video game history. Notable releases. Uh, let's see. We got Nicktoons Unite. Better. Uh, Samurai Showdown 5. We got Marble Blast Ultra. Drill Dozer. Street Fighter Alpha 3 Max. Not quite sure what that is, if that's a re release or whatever. Uh, Grandia 3, EverQuest 2, Super. Nope, just kidding. That game sucks. Lord of the Rings Battle for Middle Earth 2. SpongeBob, a SpongeBob SquarePants game came out that year. Which one? The Yellow Avenger. Mm. Oh, it's for PSP. I should look bef at that before I read it. PSP? Metal Gear Solid 3. One of the Neopet games, Final Fantasy Twelve. It sounds like Tetris DS came out that year. It's Elder Scrolls Four Oblivion came out that year, Chris. Oblivion. It Suica still sounds like Weekend in Five. Oh, okay. I'm only and I'm only in March. Kingdom Hearts Two. Kingdom Hearts Two. You could talk Sneak shit on Kingdom Hearts. King. You can talk shit on Kingdom Hearts all you want. Kingdom Hearts 2 is better than Sneak King. I, I'm putting my foot down. <laughs> Mother King. 3. Mother 3 came out. I haven't played it. Sneak King. The Ned's Declassified game, Chris. Okay, definitely Sneak King. <laughs> I'm gonna argue, I'm gonna I'm gonna go on a limb and say that Sneak King is better than Ned's Declassified <laughs> for the <laughs> Game Boy Advance or whatever the fuck. Um, it is not better than Oblivion. <laughs> I will I will fight that. <laughs> if if I go down in history as the guy who thought Oblivion was better than Sneaking, I think I'm okay with that. I'm okay on the opposite end too, so okay. we'll, we'll All right. see. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay with that. I've been trying to play Resident Evil Zero. It's way too hard. It's there's no item storage. Uh, I don't know when the last time you played a Resident Evil game was, but like No, I know. There you have to carry everything. Mm -hmm. And there's a there's a mechanic where if it's not in a key item, you can just leave it there and go pick it up later, but like I I just it's not and it's also not easy. Like it's a it's a fixed camera like Resident Evil 1 type thing. It's just not every time Alex and I try to play it, we just like give up we we like haven't gotten far in that game at all <laughs> um that's a, that's about it i was playing more tap in oh excuse me like i said um that's basically what i've been playing the most because i can't stop playing it um um i've been working on resident evil 2 like always um and we found out i found out that um i thought black desert online was coming to ps4 on July 2nd, and I'm excited for that because it has, like, the best character creator ever. July 2nd already passed. I know. Th that's when you can start pre-ordering it. Oh, it's not actually okay. coming out until August 22nd. I see. So, like, a whole two months I have to wait. Um, so I've been scratching my itch in Soul Calibur. Um, the difference is, like, in Soul Calibur, you can, it's really good for creating, like, characters, like, from things, and... In because uh, of the clothes and stuff, but in mm. Black Desert Online, it's got really good facial reconstruction technology. So like, there's videos of people like recreating famous people in that game. That's basically what I want to do. But 
it's only on PC and Xbox One, and I don't have an Xbox One, and I don't have a PC that could run an MMO. Even though I don't want to play this MMO, I just want to use the character creator. Soon um, you'll have a PC. Yeah, but not not one that'll be able to run. Oh, okay. That yeah. Um, if I get anything, uh, my goal for my my laptop that I'm going to buy is the same exact thing as my old one, except maybe made a little better. Mm. Um, but because like. This is what I went through when I got my phone. Like, I paid probably the same amount for this phone as I did for my old phone, but it's so many years later that, like, this is just the standard now, and the, like, standard is way better than yeah. than what I thought. You don't know what I found out? I don't know if iPhones can do this. Um, Alex was showing me this. If you're in an app, but you were just in another app, you can just tap this twice to go to the other app. So we have something kind of similar. So it's a tap twice. It doesn't bring us right there, but like I'll just I'll open to whatever, yeah. um, and we can double tap, and now it's right there. Oh, see, we can s- just switch between them. See, that's see, because look, if I tap mine once, that happens. Oh, but if I tap it twice, it just goes there to okay. the last one. What if you have three open? It just goes to the last, the last one, one you had. I was on, okay. yeah. So uh, I can literally go between like a text a text document oh, and and uh, you dropped something. This time today. I dropped something, yeah, and it's gone. It's literally gone. I do not see it. Good job. You see it? It's nope. Not important. Was it the clippy thing for it the mic stand? It was the clippy thing. Don't and play what, with it. What sucks is it wasn't even on the thing. It was on this table. I know. I saw it. Um. Damn! It was final. It finally happened. <laughs> I, I was the one that dropped the thing. Um, you know what I'm excited for this week? Yeah. What? We're probably going to finish up Dragon Ball Z, you and I, the Frieza saga. The Frieza saga, yeah. And then we're going to watch My Hero Academia, yeah. which I'm just I'm I've, excited for. I've never seen My Hero Academia. I know. You have yeah. uh, most of it, right? Not the third yeah, season? Yeah, I watched part of the third season, stopped, and then I was like, you know what? Anthony would like this. So I'm going to I'm gonna watch it with Anthony. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Word on the street is, I haven't seen it myself, obviously, but people aren't loving one punch man season two really yeah they're the i've read some of the complaints and they're saying that like they had the same budget but more episodes so not only was the plot rushed but it looked a little worse in general oh no that's what i've heard um i i feel like i don't know i i I literally know nothing about the rest of one punch man Mm. so i don't know what to expect but um yeah, I'm concerned about that because I really like One Punch Man. Me too. And I kind of like agree with this. I saw a couple comments being like, maybe I won't watch it so I can just keep the memories of yeah. good One Punch Man. But I don't know. I uh, That's that's concerning. Yeah. I've been looking forward to that for literally years at this point. Yeah. There's also um, that One Punch Man fighting game that they announced and it was like coming soon. But like, I don't, it doesn't look finished but they keep announcing characters like they just had a trailer announcing all the villains yeah like um what's his name vaccine man and deep sea king and the bug lady cool and the 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 big the big thing he fights when he does the consecutive normal punches yeah him no oh no when he when it's bargain day at the supermarket or whatever he says oh yeah 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 what does he say you said it. Oh, okay. Cool. Good for me. <laughs> um, news. I'm excited about news. Yeah, you were telling me. I, I have, mean, you were telling me you weren't going to tell me. I have things to talk about about the news. So, first of all, the news that dropped today, did you hear about the new Switch? Yes. Um, the new Switch, it's going to be fully portable. The Joy-Cons can't come off. Um, it's going to be smaller. Um, and, But... It's going to have a longer battery life by like a couple hours, and it's going to be a hundred dollars cheaper. They also made a a point to say that it can only play games that have a portable mode. I guess there's some Switch games that you can't play portable. I've never oh, encountered okay. that. Like even like I don't know. Yeah, that's weird. Um, so I don't know why they went out of their way to say that, but they said that like it'll work with other Joy Cons. So like if you have one two Switch or a game like that, obviously you need Joy Cons to use it. Um. But yeah, it's one of those things where like it's cool, but like I don't need it. Yeah, I'm not gonna buy it. But like for people who haven't dipped in yet, it's just like the 2DS. For people who haven't dipped in yet, it's gonna be like a great like entry mm. uh, into buying Switch games. Um, 
And it, obviously, the big thing is it can't go on TVs. But like, you know, it, what are you gonna do? It can't. No. Oh. That's a okay. whole. Re- that's a whole thing. It's completely portable. Okay. Cannot connect to the TV. Um. Which like, honestly, like I play it portable anyways. Like, cause like. If I'm watching YouTube and playing a game and I'm playing Switch, my options are put Switch on the TV, put YouTube on my phone, or Switch in my lap, YouTube on the TV. Yeah. And I usually favor that one. Unless it's a game like Mario or Breath of the Wild, where it's like a big scope, like, I want to have that on the TV, you know? Yeah. Um, and it's coming out in September, um, so that seems cool. Um, Was that the big news? No. Okay. This is the big n- I mean, it's not big at all, but I've been waiting to tell you. It's finally happening the Teen Titans are going to beat the shit out of Teen Titans Go. Oh, I have heard about that. Fucking, <laughs> did you see the trailer? No. It's already out. We could, like, go buy it. Really? It's called Teen Titans Go versus the Teen Titans. <laughs> and uh, they're going to fight each other. And then from what the tr- from what I saw in the trailer, they're going to team up or whatever to fight Trigon like they always do. Um, but then at the end, they teased, like, nine or ten different Teen Titans teams. Like, some of them were jokes, clearly. Like, one of them was, the, what if they were all animals? But, like, one of them was literally from the comics. Like, you know Sexy Starfire, where she's, like, orange skin and she has, like, barely any clothes on? Yeah. She was in the trailer. She's going to be, like, in that movie. Weird. It it looked it looked cool. I've never seen Teen Titans Go, but Chris and I, I don't know if we've ever talked about this, but we're very vocal about hating Teen yeah. Titans Go. Just yeah. Because it's... It's just annoying. Like I'm not. E- my complaints aren't even like, why does it look like this? They, I miss the old Teen Titans, which obviously I do miss the old Teen Titans. But like, it's just it's super a dumb annoying. Kid show with a DC skin on it. Yeah. There's, I mean, there's no. Re- they're not heroes in that show. It's just every from what I, I've never, literally never seen it. But you, it feels. I seem like I wake up to it. I yeah. watch Adult Swim and I wake up in the morning with uh, Teen Titans go on. It's it's, it's, it's obnoxious. It just seems like another kids show, which is fine. But like. You know, Ebert would have had a field day. <laughs> well, Ebert didn't even. No, are you kidding me? Ebert wouldn't touch TV. Cinema <laughs> only, baby. Uh, yeah, I mean, he had no problem lowering himself for for all the kids' movies. Oh, I'm, you're saying the teen, the movie? Oh, sure. Yeah, I mean, he definitely would have done this movie, right? Um, it's weird that it's uh, straight to Blu-ray because the last Teen Titans Go movie hit theaters. And the last Teen Titans Go movie teased this one. With oh its, yeah, with its end credits. Right, thing. I I heard about that. I just I watch the regular Teen Titans lose. <laughs> well, it seems like they're. It seems like just like Teen Titans versus the Justice League, uh, it seems like they're gonna fight a little, and then Trigon's gonna come, Raven's dad, and then yeah. they're gonna fight him. Um, which is like now that I'm thinking about it, exactly the plot. Of Justice League versus the Teen Titans, because it was called that, but then they barely fought. They fought in like one scene, and it was because the Justice League were brainwashed, and okay. then and then the rest of the movie, literally the rest of the movie, they were teamed up and fighting uh, Trigon. I think that's that thing's name. I don't want to say Trigon over and over again and be totally wrong. So, do you think you're gonna see it? Yeah, it is Trigon. The the new the Teen Titans versus the Teen Titans Go. Yeah. Um maybe I I feel like I need to wait See, it's weird cuz like one I want to wait for people to see it so they can be like it was good or not. Um but at the same time like if it's people who like Teen Titans Go, I don't know how well right. their opinion is going to stack up to mine. Um but like whenever there's a DC animated movie that would interest me i usually check it out uh i've yet to check out batman versus T- tmnt um mm. or whatever that movie is called uh i really want to i don't know why i haven't yet i just haven't gotten around uh, excuse me i just haven't gotten around to it um but no i might check it out maybe okay. if it does i'll report back yeah and uh Let us say know. how it was would you watch it want to no. watch that no okay no. i've uh in the few seconds Every couple of days where I forget to turn the volume off that I hear the obnoxious sounds that come for that from that show. That's enough for a lifetime for me. I don't I don't need any more of yeah. those obnoxious Here's what I'm hoping. Kids. Here's what I want to happen with this movie. I want to watch it, and whether I like it or not, I want to be reminded how good Teen Titans was, and I want to 
be in the mood to watch Teen Titans again. Because okay. I've actually never seen Teen Titans all the way through. And I, I guess, haven't either. See, that I'd do. I guess when it gets into it, it really gets into like, like having a good plot and stuff. Because mm. like, as we just, well, it's not out yet, but as we've discussed before, like Teen Titans is a kid show, so it had the original, like ultimately is a kid show, so it had episodes where it was just like whatever, and then it had like plot important episodes. Mm. And I guess like the latter outweighs the the former when, when it gets into the later season. Because okay. I've never seen season three. I, I've seen season one and two. Um, and season two, I'm pretty sure, ends with uh, Tara. Okay. When she got killed yeah. by, by Deathstroke or whatever they call him. Um, but I've not seen season three. I actually didn't even know there was a season three um, because I borrowed season one and two from my friend and he didn't have season three. But I've always been curious. But yeah, they're going to beat him up. They're going to beat the shit out of him and it's going to be super hype. You can only hope. I can only hope. No, it from the trailer, it seems like they... They abide know who by the better one is. No, it seems like the Teen Titans Go characters abide by like cartoon rules. Like I'm gonna get crushed by a safe, but I'm fine. Okay, you know what I mean. Yeah. So I think at the end of the day, the actual them fighting is not gonna be that big a deal. It might be a cool scene, but like it's not gonna be the whole movie, and it's definitely not gonna like end with one side coming out on top. Yeah. From what I saw from the trailer, it seems like both the Robins are gonna like do the thing where they like are both the leader and they're like, Hey, wait a minute. Okay. You know what I mean, it's just, it, at the end of the day, it just looks like a multiverse movie, which yeah. I'm down with, but I just, I don't know. I don't know about teen Titans go. No, I mean, you're going to cringe. Teen Titans go. Th- this is what I'm most mad about. Teen Titans go. Teen Titans go is the reason there's no teen Titans pop figures. All the teen Titan pop figures are teen Titans go. So every time I see like I'll see a Jinx pop figure and I'm like, "Oh, it's oh, but it's Teen Titans Go." Yeah. Well, well. <laughs> what are you going to do? Well, yeah. <laughs> well, let us know. Now you have to watch it. Okay. We can't spend 15 minutes talking about it and you not actually watch it. Yeah. No, I'll watch it. I'll 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 watch um I'll watch Batman versus TMNT as well so I can have something good to talk about too maybe we'll make a cinematic maybe relief we'll out of it. it maybe we'll talk about it on our movie <laughs> podcast um and not our regularly scheduled podcast that we are on right now yeah. i've i've done something yeah and it has to do with movies and i didn't know what i was going to do with this but i think since we've only been going for 22 minutes i'm going to do this now um, I saw a lot of people doing this online. Uh, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight Spider-Man movies. Mm-hmm. And I have organized them from shittiest to bestest. Okay. And Are I you w- including the one from, like, the 70s? No. No? I didn't know there was one from the 70s. It might have been a TV show. Anyways, keep going. Okay. Okay. Um... So the only issue with my list is the the Sam Raimi movies, the Tobey Maguire movies. Yeah. I haven't seen them in a while. I'm going to rewatch them soon because I literally haven't seen them since I was a kid. And I think I only saw Spider-Man 1 and 3 just the once. Okay. Um, I definitely watched Spider-Man 2 a couple times as a kid. So this might change after I watch them again. Okay. But, um, so the, the first two, the shittiest, and then the next not shittiest, is uh, Amazing Spider-Man and Spider-Man 3. Okay. Uh, because Spider-Man 3 is bad. It's not a good movie, and I don't like watching it, but it's Amazing Spider-Man is lacking charm. Amazing Spider-Man is just boring, and okay. that is like the worst insult I can give to a superhero movie. Specifically Spider-Man. Specifically Spider-Man, yeah. Um. So Amazing Spider-Man, Spider-Man 3, uh, then Spider-Man, the original one. Okay. Uh, then Amazing Spider-Man Two, and I know I know people hate Spider-Man Two, and I I've heard the complaints, and I just don't get it. <laughs> okay, I think it's a great movie. I really like it. I don't think you've ever seen nope. the Amazing Spider-Man movies. No, nope. they're honestly at this point because you've seen the the Raimi ones, right? Yep. You've seen all of them except the Amazing Spider-Man ones. Yeah. At this point, it's only worth it if you're gonna do a list like this. Yeah. To watch those, like they're not. 
they're not anything at this point. They're not anything. Yeah, they're <laughs> they're they're yeah. That's the I nothing. The Amazing Spider Man. <laughs> um, but the Amazing Spider Man two is is good. I I liked it a lot. Um, I'm not gonna go into why. Um, I just like it a lot. Then Homecoming. Okay. Uh, Homecoming, really good. Uh, it's got that one scene, the I can't lift the building scene, mm-hmm. which is like hashtag cry every time. Um, and they, 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 Homecoming started the quote unquote issue that I thought we were going to run into, uh, when I noticed that they were doing this, but clearly it's not an issue because of the new one where I was like, they don't want to redo villains from old movies and therefore we're running out of villains. So now we're doing like, we're literally doing Vulture and Shocker in this one. Mm. And I was just like, who cares? But like, they made them really cool. Yeah. And then like that rings true with Far From Home because- they used Mysterio and like nobody knows who that is. And then Mysterio was the fucking best Marvel Cinematic Universe <laughs> villain of all time. Um, so Homecoming and then Spider-Man 2, then Far From Home, then Into the Spider-Verse. See, I, you absolutely love that movie. I Into think the Spider-Verse? It was, yeah, yeah. I think it was just okay. Really? I thought yeah. you loved it like I did. No, no. <laughs> I thought it was good. I thought it was a really good cartoon movie. I would not list that. Uh, above either of the MCU Spider-Man movies. Really? Yeah. It was just so good though. It was it was good was not that good in my opinion. It was not better than those two movies. Oh, well, okay. That's yeah. what I meant. Yeah. The, you you confused me because you were like it was good, it wasn't that good. It like, wasn't it wasn't as good like, as those. Like Mac when he was uh I think it's Mac from It's Always Sunny, he has sex with I think it's Charlie's mom. <laughs> and then Dennis was like, so how was it? And he was like, it was pretty good. It was all right. It wasn't great. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Maybe my favorite that. movie from, <laughs> my favorite line from that uh, show. <laughs> no, I just love it. It's everything I want a Spider-Man movie to be. Uh, and it, I like, it's the only movie I think ever that I've watched that I have literally no complaints. I have nothing bad to say about Into the Spider-Verse. Okay. Um, I don't know. It's really no, good. You, yeah, that's. Everybody can have their own opinion. <laughs> yeah. You know? Oh yeah. No. Of course. Um, yeah. No. It was. It was. Far from home was good. It was really good. It was definitely the best one, besides Spider Verse. Um, and that's saying a lot because I only saw it once and it just came out. Usually yeah. I'll like wait and be like, eh. But I, w- you and I, and I think everyone on the planet is in agreement that Far From Home is better than Homecoming. Yeah, that was a really good movie. I want to watch them back to back. Yeah. But I think I liked Far From Home a lot better than uh, the first one. And I and I love the first one. No, there. that's the thing. We're talking about like a, an 8.5 versus an 8.6. Like yeah. they're like so like s- both very good. Mm. Um. I just, I, I just, yeah. I just love Spider Verse way too much, and it's literally. See, uh, we talked about this too much on uh, the Spider Man. Watch the, our Spider Man Far From Home cinematic universe episode. <laughs> cinematic relief. There episode. you go. There you go. Um, I actually wasn't going to correct you. I was like, "Yep, that all sounds right to me." <laughs> but uh, they really set him up to be the next Tony Stark. I mean, I- I've been thinking about it. That was the. F- First movie in the new f- phase, we're done with phases phase. Yeah. Like, that was movie number one after Endgame. What are we going to get to get people back into the theaters? How's about Spider-Man 2? <laughs> and, you know, the scenes in the movie, just they, they are you really... You know, it's a good idea. Can you imagine a, a different, like, r- like timeline where they're like, what are we going to do to get, like, people into the theaters after Endgame. I know, Doctor Strange 2. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what I'm saying is they had to have put a lot of thought into what movie are we going to do a month after Endgame mm. comes out. Like, Endgame's yeah. still in some theaters. What are we going to put out there? No, I mean, not like, spoiler alert for Endgame, not like this would have been a hard thing to do, but, like, Tom Holland had to probably be on both sets, like, oh, within yeah. the same week. Oh, yeah. Um... It, they just it seems like they're putting a lot of stock into Spider-Man and it's the right call. Like they're putting their now yeah. expired Iron Iron Man stock I'm into hoping, Spider-Man. I'm hoping that it doesn't go to waste. I'm hoping that after we get a third Spider-Man movie it doesn't go back to Sony. Like I hope yeah. we can figure something out where we keep making where we keep having this like 
Disney and Sony Spider-Man friendship that is going on. Well, Monster Disney could just eat Sony. The, I I think that's like a step too far for Disney. I think that'd be like a lot of money. Yeah. Um. But yeah, if in 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 terms of like the grand scheme of things, if they did that, they'd be like losing their biggest competitor, or ga- oh, yeah. gaining their biggest competitor. Uh, as far as I'm concerned. Um, because like when it comes to kids movies, uh, you can argue if Disney is better than Pixar all day, but like they're both way better than Illumination. Mm. Like I couldn't give a shit about Illumination. <laughs> Do you want to know what sucks about Illumination? They're sure. the ones making the Mario movie. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The Illuminations logo literally has a screaming minion in it. And mm. that's going to be before a Mario movie. <laughs> I love Mario so much, <laughs> and I want to like his movie, but it's just, well, I predict that it's going to be the second movie with Mario in it that is bad. I predict it won't be as bad as my prediction for that Sonic the Hedgehog movie. That, uh, man. Dude, when do you think they're going to release the new trailer? They won't. Do you think they're going to release it like an hour before it hits theaters? <laughs> I'm So there's literally no to time me, to complain a- about? There's a 50-50 that that movie just won't even come out at this point. Who's who's making that? Is that Sony? It I don't can't know, be, probably. right? Hold on. I'm going to look it up real quick. Sonic movie. Know what I mean, internet. By the way, Catherine messaged us. For those of you who watch this, uh, this channel, Catherine's guest starred a few times. We're setting up plans for her for a few days, and she said... Woo, I'm so excited to see you guys. I am miss y'all so much. Oh, good. Classic Catherine. Param- oh, it's Paramount. Paramount is made. That explains a lot more than I thought it would. <laughs> um, no, because they said that they were going to redesign Sonic. They were like, sorry, we fucked up. We're going to do it over again. And then the movie got delayed until like February or whatever. But like, what if it looks bad again? <laughs> What if it looks bad again? Also, (laughs) Sonic looking good isn't going to make that movie better. That movie looks like garbage. Yeah. I, uh, I don't know. I, they might can it. I, they don't, I don't think they would. If, if they're not going to can New Mutants, then I have faith for every single movie. Okay. Literally, New Mutants got delayed a fourth time, and Disney's like, we're still going to release it. Sorry. And, like, literally, like, all the actors and actresses are going to go back for reshoots, and they're going to look like, Three years older. <laughs> um, Maisie Williams, is that her name? The woman who plays Arya Stark? Okay. And Charlie Heaton, I believe his name is. The guy who plays Jonathan from Stranger Things. Yeah. They are both in that film. Oh, really? Yeah. Which is funny because it's like the greatest show versus the second greatest show that's on right now. I guess Game of Thrones isn't on anymore, but you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's weird because... Um not Arya Stark is Phoenix in at the yes, X-Men universe. Yeah. Sophie Turner. Yeah. Yeah. That movie tanked super hard. Yeah. That movie uh I read a thing they said it like did worse than Oh man, I forget. There was another movie that did bad and they were like it did worse than this. I was like Ugh. That was like Fox being like enjoy owning us Disney. They literally in pro- uh marketing that movie called it the end game of the X-Men universe. Yeah. I remember that. <laughs> what a ballsy what a shitty move. thing even to say. End game wasn't even out yet. Like what a ballsy No, move. yeah, I think End game was a week out. Like oh, a week okay. in, a week until it came out. Yeah. And then they were just like it's the end game of of and I saw End game and I was like, "Oh. That that didn't suck like your movie's gonna." <laughs> um what was I gonna say? Um, oh, uh, uh, Blank is gonna be in that movie. One of my favorite X Men. Cool. She is uh, gonna be played by Anna Joy Taylor, the woman from Split. Have you seen Split? No. With uh, James McAvoy. No. Uh, I think that's all I know her from. I think you'd like Split. It's a horror film, but like, it's not scary. Mm. It's not that you're one to not like horror films. Um, but I feel like you like me if the movie. You, similar to me, if the movie's scary enough, it's it's a no-go. Yeah, well, I mean, I just don't like gore. I don't. Oh, like, yeah, there's no gore in uh, Split. I don't like unnecessary jump scares, and I don't like gore. Like, here's the thing, if I... This is kind of how I judge 
if a scene if a sc- scene that's supposed to be scary is good or not good or not if I can turn the volume off and still get scared from it then you did a good job okay. if you're depending 100% on like a on, on like a boom eff- effects or a swell in the music or something like that, and that's your jump scare is just it's all sound effects. If I could shut the TV off and just that noise scares the crap out of me, yeah. and that's it. Then you did a bad job. That's why I think, in my opinion, Paranormal Activity might be the perfect horror movie, the first one, because it's literally an hour and forty With minutes no of, music of build up, and then one jump, one super effective jump scare, and then the movie's over. Yeah. Or, I guess, technically two jump scares. But, like, because there's the pillow and the face. Mm. But, like, the pillow's the jump scare. <laughs> no one's going to jump at the f- face. Um, yeah. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, Split. Split. <laughs> Split's a good movie. You should watch it. Um, okay. I guess Glass didn't do so well. But what are you going to do? What are you going to fucking do? <laughs> yeah. Um, and, I mean, if I'm going to watch those, I might as well start at the first one. Yeah. Uh, Unbreakable. Yeah. Yeah. Unbreakable is a phenomenal movie. Yeah. Unbreakable is phenomenal. Split is really, really good. Um, Glass I have not seen, so I'm All not right. going to say if that was good or not. It it looked promising. I was excited for it. I didn't go to see it. Um, are we done with movies like in theaters? Like, like there's been so many good movies that like I haven't been able to see a movie that I like twice because I'm just like I can't see. I can't go to the movies right now. I'm at the movies. <laughs> uh, no, we're not. Lion King comes out in a few weeks. Fuck, but is that going to be good? I'm excited for it. I'm excited for it, but is it going to be good, though? I did no comment. I'm just <laughs> excited for it. Have you seen Jungle Book? I thought you were going to ask if I've seen The Lion King. I was going to throw <laughs> something at Have you. Have you seen the original Lion King? We've never... <laughs> well, actually, Anthony, if you watch our first episode of Cinematic Relief, it's like number two on my favorite movies list. That is definitely not our first episode. Okay, well, whatever episode. It's like fifth, I think. Shut up. Uh, our yeah, first... I, yeah, I saw j- the Jungle Book <laughs> remake. Oh, you did? Yeah. but Oh, but you didn't like that one? No, I didn't mind it. Oh, oh okay. I thought you said you did. Oh, maybe that was someone else. Yeah, no, um, I, I I thought it looked good. I find it weird that we're calling these live action, especially this Lion King one, because nothing, no, nothing's yeah. going to be mean, living a, in that movie. There is a live action kid in Jungle Book. Right, that, but exactly. But not, there's not going to be any humans in this no, one. No, um, I'd be more comfortable calling it the CGI Lion King. Oh, did you see the um Mulan trailer? No, I haven't. There's a trailer for the live action uh, Mulan. See, that's absolutely live action. Yeah. See if if an if, if a movie's ninety percent real life human beings and ten percent CGI, that's a live action movie. This Lion King movie is not a, li- a live action Lion King movie. No, it's yeah, it's a CGI movie, which I'm fine. I with. mean, can it be argued that you can call it live action if you're on location at real places? Like if I'm in the jungle filming real trees with fake animals cropped in is it live action is thanos live action i mean infinity war is live action sure and so is an end game yeah. but if there's just a scene with thanos in it but they're on location is that a live action scene oh hang on so they're they're on location they're like in new zealand or whatever yeah filming the lord filming, of the rings sure. filming like a scene with that thanos is going to be in it yeah but nobody else. Just, no, just him. Is that a live action scene? Um, I guess not. Right. I guess not. I guess you're right. You got me. You, fu- <laughs> you fucking got me. I don't, I don't know what to say. Um, yeah, no, I guess not. Because I'm trying to think, like, especially, like, because now I'm just thinking about Thanos. Like, obviously Thanos is on Earth for a, for a grip in Endgame. Mm. Um. And like, I'm not I'll, even saying the scene exists. I'm just saying theoretically if right, there was a no, scene and, on location with just the Right, and since you brought that up, I'm trying to think, like, was... Oh, he is in on Earth for a bit in Infinity War as well. Mm-hmm. Um, see, yeah. No, you You know what? There is a scene where it's just him and Hulkbuster on, in a forest, and it's like, the forest is real. Right, <laughs> right. That's a good point. I guess not. I guess that's not live action. I've been duped. <laughs> so what do we call it? The I, new. Th- I'm cool with CGI Lion King. That makes sense to me. That's what it is. Yeah. M- yeah. And I'm not putting them down. Like I'm sure there's gonna be some cool live action camera tricks where yeah. like the you know one of them walks past the sun and they friggin you know the, yeah. the reflection stops or whatever, and that'll be cool. It's not real though. It's not live action. The, no, the you're right. The background is live action, which is awesome. But anything, as far as I know, anything con- concerning lighting is is fake. Right. Because yeah, that's funny. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's a good point. Um, Just my thoughts, and this has been cinematic relief. <laughs> tune in in three days for for more cinematic <laughs> relief. Uh, no, so um, we're almost done with Spider Man and Ratchet and Clank. We might yes. even finish them on the same day, which is going to feel kind of cool. Yeah, that will um, be cool. We, we got to work hard. We still have a probably at the very least we still have two weeks left. So we, okay. we we still have nothing to announce in terms of what's coming next on the Let's Play. This week's Sunday episode is Bopper Flop episode two, as I already said. Um, and then the week after that's going to be something new, something brand new. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed Bopper Flop, oh sorry, I'm like we bought we ate before we did this, so we're both like a little burpy. Mm. Um, if you like Bobber Flop episode one, uh, I re- <laughs> there it is. I really liked uh, working on episode two. I think it came out good. Um, and leave suggestions for songs I should do and stuff. And then uh, Cinematic Relief is going to be Stranger Things. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Almost Fancy is going to be Chris's new girlfriend. Can I say that? Uh yeah, I don't know. She's gonna be able to make it down this week. Oh okay. Eventually, <laughs> so eventually she'll be, on be it. Chris's new girlfriend. Well, w- almost fancy will be something. So yeah, we'll have somebody will be on it. <laughs> oh god, whoever we, we can get down we here. We can't do Catherine again. No, no. <laughs> we got to figure something out no. in the next couple of days. Um, but yeah, thank you for listening. Uh, I've been Thunder. I'm Lightning, and we'll see you next time. I like to-